If you're a new small business owner, you might all of a sudden find yourself on Zoom a lot. And you're on there and pitching to clients, talking to customers, talking to vendors, and all of a sudden you need a professional background when you've never needed one before. Luckily, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily make a professional background in Canva, which is a free tool. And there are paid options too, but I'm going to break it down and just show you how to use Canva to create a Zoom background. And really, there are three options that you can go with. And I'm going to break down how to make all three options and then how to use those as your new Zoom background for your business and for your meetings. So let's jump right in and break this down. Okay, so the first thing you do is you go to your, your Canva account and then you just click over here on Create Design. And then you just search for Zoom, all right? And then what you're going to see is you're going to see a Zoom virtual background option. So just click on that so that you get the sizing right for a Zoom virtual, virtual background. Now there are three options you can go with here. The first option you can go with is to use one that is an office, right? So I would just search here for office and try to just have like a professional office look that is in the background for you. Now you can make this look like, you know, a really cozy type of office, or you could make it look like a very kind of corporate atmosphere that maybe you're in a WeWork or something like that. But again, people are going to recognize that this is a virtual background, but it still gives you a professional look when you're talking to people without having to invest in, you know, putting up shelving or posters or things like that if you don't have that type of thing already. So what you would do here is just, you know, set up and download the office. Now, okay, there we go. Now I have this virtual office. Hey, and if you don't know how to actually do this, um, don't worry. I'm going to show you in a future video. I'm going to put the link in the description below so you can see exactly how to change your Zoom background. If you don't know how to do that, just look in the description and there'll be a link for how to do this. All right. So now you can see I've got an office background. All right. Now, the second thing that you can do is you can go over here and you can choose something that's going to help reinforce your brand. So I might use something like this. Right. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to replace this, my business logo. So for those of you that don't know, I have a new business. It's Mighty Sites. It's a way to make simple professional websites for small businesses. So I'm actually going to get rid of this stuff here and I'm going to create this Mighty Sites logo and just simply add my logo for my business to this background. And then I'm gonna, I can switch and I'll show you what that looks like just to have a simple clean background with your company logo that's gonna reinforce your branding as you're talking to customers, vendors, clients, the like. Okay, now you can probably see a problem here, which is that my logo is backwards. Don't worry, I did that on purpose so that you can see an easy way to fix it. So all I would have to do here is go over and flip and I would flip horizontally, knowing that it's going to be mirrored when I actually upload this to my background. Now, the third option you can go with is just something fun, right? And this is something that you can switch up often. Most people actually kind of enjoy this and it gives you a lot of freedom and flexibility. So I can go in here and I can just search for beach, right? And then I can choose something like this where it's going to look like I'm at the beach. Just like that, it looks like I'm at the beach. So depending on what type of feel and look you're going for, for your customers, this is how you can create a whole bunch of different options, whether that's an office, whether it's something with your logo, or whether it's just fun and playful where you've got all these different ones you can rotate through, like the beach, the mountains, the city, uh, they can make it fun. Now, stick around. If you don't know how to do it, click on the link below, um, and I'll show you exactly how to upload a new virtual background. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, hit that like and subscribe as we're sharing great tips for local business owners on things you can do to enhance your business, make your life easier, and leverage tech for your success. We'll catch you in the next video.